It's Media Week here in France, and we have a special edition of Truth or Fake. It's aimed at students in middle schools and high schools, but it has lessons for all of us. We're taking a look today at this post on TikTok. Now, it shows a reporter doing a live shot in front of some body bags. Now, there's a caption that goes along with this post, and let me read it to you. It says, breaking news, Ukraine reporter is reporting live, filming dead people killed during the invasion. They're referring to Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year in February 2022. And then the caption goes on. Surprisingly, one of the corpses moves and adjusts his body for comfort. You see it there. We can take a closer look in the video. We have it clean just here. And take a look at the body down in the left-hand corner. That is not in body. That is actually a person, a live person who's moving. And the cameraman is filming what's going on. So the Post is right that this does not show body bags. However, it's wrong with the bigger picture. Now, this Post is doing something that we see a lot of. It's an allegation, most often on pro-Russian accounts, that Ukraine is fabricating incidents, that they are making up false events and then filming it so they can blame Russia for killing its people. Well, it's not true, and I'm going to show you why. Now, remember, when you want to verify a photo or a video online, it's very, very important to separate the image which is just what you see here in this rectangle, you must separate the image from the caption that goes along with it, because very often the caption, which you see here, has got nothing to do with what we actually see in the video. Our job as fact checkers is to try and find out what was happening in this video, where and when it was filmed. I'll tell you about that in a second, but first, I'll give you a little tip very, very often in the commentaries that go along with any social media po post, there's useful information. So let's read what they were saying about this TikTok post. The first person wrote, this wasn't even in Ukraine, it's old footage. The next person said, this is a climate change protest from two years ago. Another person said, this is a protest in Germany. Now we don't know who these people are, we don't have any reason to believe them, but if a lot of people are raising doubts about the video, it's a hint that there might be something that is wrong. But how can we know for sure? We need to find the original context for the video. So remember, a key thing when you're verifying a photo or video is to separate what's in the image from the caption that goes around it. So let's take a closer look at what is actually in the image. We see the reporter there in front of the, the pretend body bags. And we see a sentence down here, what we call in television a lower third or a strap. Now that sentence is in a language I don't speak. I'm guessing it's German, it looks like German, but I don't know for sure. So what I do is I use an online tool, an online translator called Diepel. You can see it here. We put that phrase in German into Diepel and it confirmed that yes, it was indeed in German. And then it also gave us a translation. So that German phrase translated means Vienna, demo against climate policy. And then next we went to Google, another online tool. It's on all of your phones, on your laptops, on your tablets. And we put that same German phrase into Google. And here are the results. The top video result was posted by OE24.TV. Now that is an Austrian television station that is based in Vienna, the capital of Austria. There's another interesting thing here, which is the date, February 4th, 2022. Now, Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, 2022, three weeks after this was put online. There's no way that this video is related to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Next up, we found an article that is talking about the same event, because we want to know why are these people in body bags? We put this article into a translator that translate from, translates from German into English, and the headline was Shock, Protest, 49 Activists in Body Bags. Now, it turns out that these activists were protesting in front of the Federal Chancellor's Office in Vienna. So we know that the activists here, in fact, were protesting about climate change. It had nothing at all to do with the war in Ukraine. Now remember, whenever you're trying to verify a photo or a video online, there are four key things to keep in mind. The first thing is separate the image from the caption. They're two different things and the caption is very often false. The second thing is to take a look in, in the comments because often there are tips in there that will tell you that something is wrong. The third thing is to use online tools like search engines and online translators 
because they will help you do research that, if you're lucky, will lead you to the fourth thing, which is the original context of the video, where it was shot and when it was shot, because then you will know what was really going on.